Greetings, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to install, or actually I should say, how to deploy a copy of PrestaShop, the latest version, using Portainer and Docker. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can actually support this channel by interacting with each video I make. You make sure that the algorithm of YouTube is engaged and my videos become a little bit more popular. This is one of the ways you can actually help. As you know, from my last video, I have added a new channel, 3D3 Websites. This is where I'm going to start posting new videos. They're going to be focused on web design hosting, mainly on WordPress. So yeah, stay tuned on that. Don't forget to subscribe. I like to get to 1000 subscribers as I can and the 4000 hours so I can actually start to monetize this part of the channel as well. Don't forget to share as much as you can, like it as much as, you know, as, the more you actually interact with my videos, you will be helping me a lot. So thanks guys. So let's go back to Portainer. This is what I'm going to use today to deploy the copy of PrestaShop. All the links are in the description below, by the way. This is the actual place I found the Composer, uh, Docker Composer YAML file. I'm going to use this inside the Portainer stack. In a minute, I'm going to show you. All you want to do is copy and paste, but make sure you change some of the information such as the password you might even want to change the mysql uh, database name so on and so forth so make sure all this is changed okay in fact all the information as you can see here as well we go also a version 2 okay so just in case the version 3 doesn't work you can choose the version 2 so yes we're going to install presta shop the latest version 1.7 i think this is the docker app as well where you can get a lot of information if you need to which uh, for example php you're going to use and everything so everything is inside here but what we've done here we made something easy to use for you to use portana because it's a very simple way of doing it so the first thing you want to do you're going to go to stacks you want to create a new stack i'm going to call it prestashop and i'm going to paste the content that i copied now this one also already have the password changed as you can see now the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to create a network called my prestashop so i go to network right click open a new tab i'm going to add a new network here and this is how i'm going to call it my prestashop and as you can see here this is what you want to call it okay it's important you do that. Make sure the driver is bridge. Once you're happy, you're going to add the subnet IP4 configuration and also the gateway. So I'm going to do 172 dot. I'm going to use 5002 slash 16. I'm going to also copy. Let me do I think I better do it manually. 172.50.0 and I'm going to do dot one. Once I'm happy with this, I'm going to deploy it by say, create the network. And this is what I'm going to do. And as you can see, the network has been created successfully. Now I'm going to close this one here. I'm going back here. Now, as I said, we're going to create PHP, my admin. This is all the information here with the password, the name of the host. And of course we got the username. All right. The last thing is left to do is just click deploy the stack and this is exactly what I just did and we got to wait a few minutes before it gets deployed by the way I already chosen to change some of the ports for example the presser shop will be on 8181 the database for the PHP in my admin is going to be a 1235 those are the one I do not use and this is the reason why the one that came with the original for example 82 and one two three five i think that one i think i left there yeah but this one i already got something else running on 82 so i changed that again make sure you double check before you deploy with the same port okay and as you can see the stack has been successfully deployed so let's go back here let me here so as you remember if you remember correctly if i go back to containers you will see the actual 8181 is the port for the Presta shop. There are three containers, okay? One is for the database, one is the PHP my admin with the port 1235, and the other one is the actual Presta shop. So we're gonna go back here and we say 8181. Right, as you can see here, we got the installation started. 
all we got to do now we'll finish the installation on the far hand i'm going to agree the above conditions here go to press next i'm gonna call it test shop again any activity you like i'm going to install a the demo products i'm going to add my information now this is going to be the username okay so make sure you remember and you're going to have the password to get in the administration side once you're happy with it press next now we're going to add the information about the actual database we're going to create a database name and the press shop so we are the inside the php my admin i'm going to click on a new and i'm going to press paste the presser shop and i'm going to change it to utf8 general then i'm going to press create and as you can see we got presser shop here created as you can see here, the actual server is called MariahDB. So let's go back here. Change this one to MariahDB. If you remember correctly, if we go back to the stacks, press the shop, the editor, we got the password and we got the user i'm going to copy the password here and i'm going to test the database and as you can see the database is connected so the job is done i'm going to press next and as you can see the installation has started right as you can see the installation has been completed for security purpose you should delete the install folder and you also should if you can rename the admin folder so what i'm going to do i'm going to my terminal let's go back this is the actual path that i'm going to use that's where we have installed press shop here we go we got inside the src folder we're going to do ls the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to rename the admin folder and i'm going to of course remove the install folder Let's remove the install folder first, add uh, sudo rm-r install and the password that has been done. And I'm going to rename now the admin folder. So again, sudo mv admin and I'm going to call it just for this demonstration admin one two three I'm going to do ls again and as you can see here the admin has been changed to one two three now I'm up with that so I'm going to log out from here back to the installation here I'm going to go to front store I don't need this anymore as you can see the presser shop tables are being installed here so i'm going to remove that and as you can see we got the presser shop up and running let's go back here manage the store again we will get the error because the admin is still there we change to one two three press enter and you should be good to go and as you can see it works the login password that we chosen earlier on in this installation again we should have the email here and we go to add the password all right so we go to password and as you can see the admin side has been added so it's up and running a fully working press shop website so again guys don't forget to like share my videos don't forget to subscribe to my new channel if you want to know more about web design hosting and again i'm going to do a lot of wordpress on this one here so again guys thanks again for joining me for this small tutorial and i'll see you next time